Hi guys and welcome to another video here on my channel. This is my second video, so again, still trying to get to grips with the whole filming process and things like that. Um, so this video is a little bit different than the last one. The last one was me really kind of doing a very realistic style, kinda, and whereas this one ended up being a lot more illustrative and definitely not realistic, but at the same time I really enjoyed making it and I really enjoyed the outcome so I hope you guys keep watching because I would really love the support and I'd also love people's feedback on this piece in general because I really liked it. So here I'm just kind of carrying on with the initial sketch. I just wanted to add a few extra details just so then I had the line work underneath the painting to know where I was going with it. Like I said in my last video, line work is one of the most important things I found when it comes to doing painting, especially with acrylic painting because the paint is quite thick so it ends up going over all your pencil lines and then it just kind of makes the pencil sketch irrelevant so that's why I add a lot and I do them quite dark. Um, I decided to go for a kind of beachy, I guess kind of weird scene that you wouldn't necessarily see but it's supposed to be two cats on what I was gonna assume to be their honeymoon. One was supposed to be a male cat, one was supposed to be a female cat um, but you can see later on in the video how that ended up changing slightly. Um, there is some things that I added in this video, like the beaded necklace and the heart-shaped sunglasses. They actually don't make it through to the final piece. I mean, the beaded necklace does, but it kind of fades behind the amount of flowers that I added to the flower necklace. Um, but the sunglasses themselves, they just completely disappear. I think it's because I forgot that I'd drawn them in, and also I don't think the piece needed it. Um, but like I said, this is just me going round, going over some bits, making the lines more defined, fixing the shapes of some things just so then I had a nice shape to work with, and just adding in a few extra details like around the sunglasses that actually don't end up making it for the final piece, and just around the chair and things like that because I was really struggling on getting the angle of the chair right. I didn't want it to look it to look too slanted because then the cats would look weird how they were positioned and I didn't want it to look too upright because then it wouldn't fit with the um, kind of angle of the rest of the piece so it was just really difficult to get that going but I think I ended up with something that looked semi decent um, yeah so this clip is just me kind of fixing up the pencil lines and just making them more defined so I know where I'm going with the painting At this point I decided that it would be a good idea to tidy up any of the loose sketch lines, just the ones that don't necessarily need to be there, either because they'll end up kind of distorting the block colours that I'm going to put down because they're quite dark lines, so I just wanted to go over the ones that aren't necessary to the form and shapes of all my things that I've drawn, and yeah, I'm just sweeping it away with a big broad flat paintbrush because it's just easier to get off the canvas than using your hand. Just a little tip, if anyone is like drawing on canvas or even paper in general, um, especially with quite dark pencil lines, if you then try to use your hand to rub away the pencil, unless you're using like a malleable rubber, then um, it would just be suggested to use a paintbrush to sweep away the rubber shavings. Otherwise, you end up um, smudging all the pencil and it just makes it a bit of a mess. And I did end up flicking some in a glass of water that I had on the other side of the easel. Um, this is just me laying out my paints. The camera cut off here, so I had to just kind of do an overpan view. And then I mixed them and then I just went straight in with the painting of the sky. So I decided to do the sky kind of this light dusky pale blue. I didn't really want to do it too dark just because it's only in a small third. I'd say no, it's more of like a quarter in the top 
and because the ocean was going to end up being more of a darker blue shade, definitely not super dark, it ended up kind of being a bit more cobalt blue. Um, but yeah, it just was a little bit more darker than the one above. I did use the same blue shade to mix in. I'm not really sure which blue I used. Um, but I think, no, I think I did use cobalt blue. And then for the top, I just added a lot of white. And then for the ocean, I oded, oded? I added just a little bit of white. Um, yeah, I just kind of kept going and my plan here was really just to block in all the really bright colours. I didn't want to go too overboard with making it super neat or anything, um, but I still wanted to keep the structure of everything that I draw. I was very carefully trying to go around all the beads and the flowers and the chair but um, a bit later on that kind of went out the window and I just ended up painting over them. Not because I didn't want them in the piece, just because um, they're a little bit faffy to go around and their lines were dark enough to be able to see underneath the paint anyway so it wasn't too much of a um, big deal. So the places like the sky and the water, they definitely needed a few coats of paint. Um, one to go over some of the darker pencil lines that were still left behind, two to kind of get a nice flat colour, and three just to kind of make the colour stand out and not be as patchy as it was looking in certain spaces. Um, I really struggled on the sand. I kind of went in with a very bright cadmium yellow, which was a mistake. So I tried toning it down with Naples yellow and white and eventually ended up with this kind of really kind of pale orangey yellow tone, which I was happy with, but it didn't really have the sort of texture of sand. And I know I wasn't going for super realistic in this piece just because of what the piece looks like. It's not a super realistic scene. Um, so I did kind of leave that, go back and do a few coats on the ocean and the sky, and then come back to it with what I thought was a really good idea. But um, honestly, it didn't really work out. I went in with a toothbrush, um, clean one, and made sure that um, I only picked up a little bit of the kind of brighter orange shade that I'd started with. And I tried to like stipple it on and kind of sprinkle it in places to add that kind of grainy texture. <laughs> 